What's going on guys? This is Big Worm 380 and I've got some art news for you guys. Finally, after waiting since September 1st, Xbox is finally getting their servers to be able to to rent on Nitrado. So, let's go ahead and get into this. At the end of the day, just remember Microsoft is the bad guy in this because this is this is the only reason I'm talking about this. Normally I get my art news from Jade Plays Games, but uh this is I I heard about this and this pissed me right off. So here's the big announcement. Um, Arc Survival Evolved servers for Xbox One. Yay, we've all been waiting. They're coming on October 25th. That remains to be seen. We'll wait and see if they do it on the 25th or if there's one more delay as far as this game goes. Hopefully not. Okay, so it says, Many of you have been wondering why private Xbox One servers were delayed in comparison to PlayStation 4. Rentable servers are relatively new terrain for Xbox One. I call bullshit on that. That's not why they were delayed, okay? There's been rentable servers for the same games. Unless I'm unless I'm wrong, call me wrong. Somebody let me know. Uh, you could rent Battlefield 4 servers. You could rent Battlefield 1 servers on Xbox One, just like PlayStation 4. I don't think there's a whole lot more PlayStation 4 games that you can rent servers that you can't on Xbox. So now, as a whole, are rentable servers fairly new terrain for consoles in general? Yeah, I would say so. Not a lot of games do it. But then why why is PlayStation 4 why have they had their servers for over a month now when the game released? They were ready at when when Xbox ones were supposed to be. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because of this bullshit in this next paragraph. By Microsoft's requirements, all services related to Xbox One games must be obtained through the Microsoft Store to provide a unified experience for all games and players. In simple terms, we are not allowed to rent out our servers for Xbox One games through our website. Okay, well, that is right. That right there, they had to get all this bullshit set up so you could. You have to go in. You'll download an app on your Xbox and you'll rent the server. It's still a Nitrato server, but you have to go through the Xbox store. Basically, and the reason why is because Xbox is going to charge a fee. Okay. So this right here is real important. That means if you have a Nitrato account and you've been waiting for Xbox servers to come available, do not add money to your Nitrato account in anticipation of Xbox One servers. You won't be able to purchase them here on the website. You'll have to do it through your Xbox and with your Microsoft account. Okay, so don't add any money for an Xbox server to your actual Nitrato account. It'll be linked to all that, you know, later. Okay, so now they're going to have a... Nitrato, Nitrato app in the Microsoft Store. You'll, uh, it'll appear on the website and can still be managed through your smartphone or their smartphone apps. Uh, it's just that all purchases, new orders, extensions, upgrades, downgrades, will have to go through the Microsoft Store app. Having our own Xbox One app has its advantages. You'll be able to change server settings right from the inside of the app. For now, this will simply redirect you to our website interface in an already lo logged in state. But for the future, we want to fully integrate various features to make managing servers even more convenient for Xbox One players. Well, that's all fine and good. That's not an advantage. All you're doing is adding another app to an already working system. I have two, ser two PC servers for Nitrato, and I can get on my PC if I'm at home and manage my server, or I can do it from my fucking phone anywhere in the world. I there's already a Nitrato app for your phone, so you don't need this other crap, you know? But whatever, that's, like I said, this is, Nitrato's providing the service, and they want this to all work, so I think they're trying to soften the blow, but it's pretty obvious what's going on here. And it's not Nitrato's fault, okay? This is the big thing. Uh, when asked about prices for console servers, we've always said one thing, we won't charge higher prices just because we can. And with the enormous demand and the big success of console servers, we certainly could have. Instead, we're looking at our own cost, primarily hardware, and there's no need to charge higher prices when hardware usage is essentially the same. So why then would you ask, are the servers going to cost more? It's because Microsoft is charging. Okay, uh, right here. You're probably already suspecting what's coming when selling products through the Microsoft Store, which is why they had to set it up that way so Microsoft could charge extra there is a percentage-based fee for every purchase. We won't crunch the numbers, but if you're interested, the store terms are publicly available. Okay. So, basically, uh, you're going to get the same exact server, the same quality, the same options, the same features, the same way to manage it as PS4 and PC players do, 
but you're going to pay more because you're buying it through the Microsoft Store. That's the only difference. That is the only difference. So, uh, here is the price right here for uh, a 10-slot, 30-day server on Xbox. $18.49. Now, we'll go ahead and call that $18.50, okay? Uh, here is a... 30-day, 10-person slot on PC or PS4. Their prices are the exact same. $13. So you're paying five and a half more dollars for a 10-person, 30-day slot. Okay? That's almost 50% more. I figured it up. You're paying 42% more than a PS4 or a PC player for a 10-person, 30-day slot. Okay? So, then we go, uh, let's look at the 32-person slot. $45.99, $46. Let's call that $46, okay? And then we go back over here, and if you do a 32-person slot, uh, it's $31.85. So we'll call that 32, and we'll call the other one 36. You're paying $14 more. I figured that up. That's a price increase of 43%, okay? So you're paying almost one and a half times no matter what server because see it's a per it's a percentage based thing you might think okay well 10 player slot it's only five and a half dollars more well i'll just get a 32 person slot and it'll be you know five dollars more. no it's percentage based on the price of the server you, you would be getting anyway so if the server costs more or you know you have more slots then it's gonna it's gonna be more of a fee for microsoft which is horse shit Okay, of course, they go on to say in the article that if you get a 90-day server, it'll be, uh, you get about a 10% discount on that. That's a normal Nitrato thing that they do with their servers. Th that's how I have my PC server set up. To me, it's worth the 10% discount. Well, you know, Nitrato's trying to make it sound good and say, oh, well, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll get the 10% discount right here. But yeah, well, you're already, you're already charging over 40% more for the server. Or, or Microsoft is causing that. You know, again, remember, this is not this is not Nitrato's fault. In the end, from what I can tell, this is just this boils down to Microsoft being greedy and wanting wanting their share. And don't we already pay sixty dollars a year for Xbox Live anyway to pay for fuck it to play online on games that you can play on PC for free? I mean, what the fuck? I, you know, until I started gaming on PC, now I get it. You know, if you don't have a gaming PC, you can't afford to get one yet, or you're not you're not interested in it. I I wasn't for the longest time. I get that. So it really is worth a console player to you know typically to pay that money for Xbox Live, and you can find discounts, you know, and, and get your your uh, membership your uh, Xbox Live cards cheaper and stuff like that. But why are we paying? We're already going to be paying for the server. Nitrato, we're paying Nitrato for the server itself to play on. We've already bought the game from Wildcard, who created it. So why in the fuck are Xbox players having to pay Microsoft anything on this whole deal? Uh, like I said, given that we already have Xbox Live, we're already paying for that. Now, I wonder, I guess, maybe, I'm assuming you have to have Xbox Live to even connect to these servers anyway. So... It's not like you can't have Xbox Live and still play on somebody's server or rent your own server, right? Or is that wrong? I don't know. But even if it is, I don't know a lot of players that play a lot of games and play games like, you know, like like I do. Like, you know, hard, I guess you would say hardcore Xbox gamers. Or, you know, same with PlayStation 4 gamers. They have a paid uh, subscription service too now. And most people, I think, have that in some form or fashion. So you're talking about $60 a year that we're paying for Xbox Live, and then then we got to pay more for Microsoft to get their hands in it on these servers. And that just pisses me off. It's ridiculous. I, me, personally, I bought the game three times on Xbox. I bought it for myself, my son, and my daughter. I bought it on PC. Uh, I bought all the DLC you know, I, I paid for the, the Scorched Earth DLC. I bought a second Xbox to do dedic a dedicated server, which, might I add, ran like shit most of the time. It, 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 I'll take that back. It ran good, but when, it, but when we would have problems, it would be at update time once a month, usually, and our server would get wiped. So it made the dedicated server kind of a waste, to be honest. I finally shut it, shut mine down. And, but, so, anyway, uh, 
we're going to be we'll be out the the app is going to be coming out uh ahead of the actual release date of the servers and through that Microsoft uh Nitrato app the Xbox One app you'll be able to pre-order your server so that's one good thing i guess out of all this okay guys i want to go ahead and end this on a positive note uh just a little bit of news concerning myself and what i'm going to be doing as far as this rented server situation is going I'm going to be partnering with Jade Plays Games. If you don't know Jade, uh, go check his YouTube channel out. It's Jade Plays Games. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, he does ARC news videos. He has news videos damn near every day, at least one, sometimes multiple, depending on how busy the news is that day. Uh, he does Let's Plays, playthroughs, community stuff with all his subscribers and Patreons. Real good dude. Go check him out. I'm going to be partnering with Jade, and I'm going to be clustering a... Uh, I'm going to be running a pvp xbox server that's going to be clustered with his uh pve servers so if you guys want to join that uh you're more than welcome to come join i'll have more details as we get closer to release i got to get with jade and iron out a few things not sure what map it's going to be and all that good stuff um but i'll i'll have that coming up in another video as we get closer um join his uh, subscribe to him on YouTube and go ahead and join his Discord if you're interested in joining uh, the servers because that's where the chat channels are going to be set up and and all that for uh, any info, any you know changes that are to be made. If you guys have issues, you'll be getting with me on the Xbox PvP server, stuff like that. So go check him out, join the Discord, and uh, hopefully you know everybody we're gonna have fun we're gonna make lemonade out of lemons right i mean that's what we got to do in this it's a it's a shitty deal for xbox players but you'll have a place to go with me and jade so come on over and play with us and you won't even have to fucking worry about running your own server so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did i will see you guys in the next one later